What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the Dan Drives YouTube channel. In today's video, based on the title and thumbnail, you guys know that we're going to be revealing some new parts for our Mustang bracket car build. Um, so uh, basically, I got the engine back from the machine shop, which you guys can see right there. Um, and he did an amazing job. I took it over to uh, Diver Performance. Um, his name's Jason Diver. He's a local guy to me. Had a lot of talking with Jason and uh, he has, um, you know, been very helpful with, um, you know, informing me on some things that I need to look out for. Um, I am not a professional whatsoever at any of this. I'm working on it. That's what I'm going to school for. And um, I'm, you know, never going to stop learning. I mean, there's so much to learn. There's always something that you don't know. And there's always someone out there who knows more than you do. And I'm going to be very, very tedious on this build. Um, and this is my main focus. Um, I, uh, some of you guys might've seen the video that I uploaded with a Honda Prelude. Um, so I got rid of that. I pretty much got it just to um, make some quick videos just to get content out there. And uh, I've been getting around a lot more racing recently too. Um, and it's kind of been, it's something that is taken over my life to say the least. That's something that, um, I'm very, very passionate about, and uh, I want to learn as much as I possibly can, and I want to get myself out on the track somehow. That's I, I just have such an itch to to put a car together and get it on the track. Um, and that Prelude was um, it needed a lot of work, and that that that's not where my passion was sitting. And um, looking around the garage, I have too many other projects going on. And the one that I'm really, really passionate about right now is this Mustang. This is what we're working on. This is what we're working to build um, so that we can get out on the track and have a competitive drag car. And um, I'm gonna be shifting content towards, um, I guess, quality over quantity. I'm not gonna be uploading very, very often. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, um, but I'm not gonna be uploading uh, just quick, dumb, you know, videos just to try to get attention um that's that's not the point of this channel the point of this channel is to document my journey and my um you know my projects um and my racing ultimately that's what i want to get into and document my racing so so this is going to be a very 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 educational uh path for me and i'm going to be uh sharing it with you guys so hopefully you guys do enjoy and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you guys don't miss out on the future content and the rest of this build. Um, I got back from Summit today and picked up uh, the six point roll bar for it, um, pre-bent. All we gotta do is weld it in and I've been going through welding at school. So, um, and we're actually building roll cages this week um, and the past few weeks in school, I'm in that module of fabrication. So um, I've been building some roll cages or a roll cage with a partner and uh, you know, doing tube bending, tube notching, and uh, we have them all tacked up right now. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna be tackling on this car too. Um, and we have our block behind us. If you guys are new and this is your first video watching, it's a 454 big block Chevy that we're gonna be putting into a new edge Mustang. So uh, we're gonna have some work cut out for us. I got a lot of, um, I put a lot of thought into this project and uh, we have a path. Um, now it's just a matter of acquiring the parts and getting things together little by little. Um, the block, if you guys haven't seen the video of me tearing this thing down, uh, go to the channel, check it out. Really cool video. You guys can see there was a bunch of rust pitting inside of this um, in the cylinders and stuff when we first got it. Um, and it was already bored 30 over. And to take care of the rust issue um, over at Diver Performance, we board it 60 over so it's going to be a 468 at the end of the day here um, we have a set of icon forged dome pistons for it uh, kind of up the compression a little bit and uh, we're using our um, factory rods jason press fitted the pistons into the factory rods for us um, and he resized them too uh, put some arp bolts in there arp rod bolts in there for us um, and then our crank is in the back behind me um, that's all wrapped up in saran wrap and we're going to put transmission fluid in this. Um, in the cylinders, we're going to wrap it up until uh, we get a handful more of our stuff in. Um, we do have, do have a set of uh, King Racing um, 
rod bearings right now. Uh, the XP series, we're going to be getting another XP series for the main bearings set. Total seal piston rings. We got a Summit Racing SFI um, damper. So we're going to be uh, meeting NHRA qualifications for the 1099 class. So we'll be good to run up to 999. Um, and that's that's a goal for this car. Uh, and it's just going to be a bracket car. So hopefully at the end of the day here, we'll be able, we'll be eligible to run um, at some national events, um, kind of like my grandpa did. And uh, that's, that's the whole goal with this. And my grandpa has been, um, I mean, the biggest supporter of all of this stuff with uh, my schooling, with putting the car together, with everything here. So um, another huge shout out to my grandpa. I can't thank him enough um, for, for everything he's ever done for me in life. Um, and we are going to put this car together for um, to run his name. Uh, so we're going to be running under Beeler Racing, um, which is what my grandpa ran under when he ran um, his cars. So uh, we have Beeler Racing banners. I got one on the Subi. I got one on the Corvette. And uh, we're, we got one for the Mustang here um, once we do that. Jason also put all new can bearings in and freeze plugs, and he uh, washed it up for us too. And then he balanced the crankshaft, and he set our piston wall clearance a little bit on the looser side. Um, we're going to be running nitrous, and I am going to be setting our ring gap a little bit wider too. Um, just by a couple thousandths wider, give us just a little bit of extra room. Uh, this is the first time I'm putting together an engine, so we're going to go as uh, moderate as we can with it. Our goal is 500 horsepower um, with a 100 shot of nitrous, and uh, we shouldn't have any issue achieving that with our displacement, with our compression that we're going to be running here in the future, and uh, with the 100 shot of giggle juice. Yeah, so on the crankshaft, um, it was sitting at about 65 grams out of balance um, when he started, and now we are down to 1.55 grams um, out of, uh, looks like, 12, 12 different spins that he has here. So, I mean, this thing should climb RPM very quick. We should have a pretty sick engine here at the end of the day. So that's what we're working on. Um, I got to pick up a few more things. And uh, we're going to be filming a video of the full assembly of this engine, little by little. Uh, we'll do the short block because I pretty much have everything that I need for a short block so far. Then the rest of it's putting together the drivetrain and getting the chassis all ready and uh, put together. I'm going to be putting some uh, subframe connectors. Um, I'm going to be uh, stitch welding the whole chassis, so that's going to take a lot of time. We need to put a new radiator bracket in it. Um, some of the rust up in the engine bay, we're going to have to knock out Bondo. Um, and then we're going to paint over all that stuff. We have to finish gutting out some of the things, take all the, uh, take all the sound deadening material out. We're going to be fabricating custom gauges in. Um, we're going to be fabricating, uh, you know, seat brackets, put our, uh, just a plastic bucket seat in. These here are the factory big block cylinder heads that weigh probably, oh my God. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Um, these things, I mean, have to weigh, I don't even know, like 70, 80, 90 pounds. I mean, probably realistically weigh like 60, 70 pounds. Um, and the combustion chambers are basically swimming pools. So um, we are going to be ditching these. Uh, we're going to be looking at a set of aluminum heads. We're going to be looking at a set of aluminum heads um, and we're going to need a new manifold um, and we are also going to be looking at a new carburetor. Uh, so whole top end we're going to need, we're going to be looking at a new cam um, and we're going to need like a nitrous converter. Um, we're going to need a custom drive shaft to meet the TH400 up to the 8.8 rear end. Um, we got our tires, we're going to need suspension. We're, we're going to need a lot of stuff. We're going to need the race seat. We're going to have to put in the cage. We're going to have to do new brakes. Obviously, we got to stop. I um, mean, we do need to look at a set of front skinnies also. Then next, we got a, a TH400 trans that we're going to be doing a rebuild on also. Um, so I can get rebuild kits relatively cheap, a couple hundred bucks uh, for that. So that'll be pretty cool. It's got the 7.5 out of the V6 Mustangs um, because it's, it's a V6 chassis. So uh, we'll be... Putting an 8.8 .8 in the back of it, um, we're going to be welding up our own engine mounts um, and uh, transmission mount and 
will be welding in our cage. Um, so, I mean, a lot of chassis work. And then as far as the Corvette, I still have the Corvette. It's just parked outside. Uh, the Corvette, um, we have an Edelbrock performer over there. And uh, the goal of the Corvette was just to uh, carburate it. The transmission's giving me issues again in it. So uh, we're probably just gonna probably rebuild that eventually. But this, you know, this Mustang's really kind of taken the um, taking the focus because the Corvette's something that I'm gonna have forever. Uh, that's the first car I, that was ever put in my name. Um, and my grandpa gave it to me as a gift when I was 14 and it was his car before mine. And um, I'm that car is just super sentimental to me. So I'm gonna be holding on to that car for the rest of my life. Uh, so we got some time to do stuff with that. And hopefully it's when um, we have some more money. Hopefully it's when we got this thing out on the track running around. And we can make a pretty sick street rod out of it, you know, maybe a blower and, um, you know, we're going to carburet it so we don't have to deal with OBD1 anymore. Um, and it, it should be pretty fun. Should be pretty fun. Or if we have all the money in the world, we'll LS swap and, you know, we, we got a lot of different routes that we can go with that car, but it's going to be, um, it's going to be put on the back burner, just going to be storing it, trying to keep it in nice shape out of the weather and stuff. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the future and how big we have goals of building uh, the Dan Drives brand and building uh, this car and going racing and uh, taking Beeler Racing and putting that back on the track. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on future uploads because they're not going to be crazy often, but... Um, when they do come out, you definitely don't want to miss them. So thank you guys again so much for watching. This has been Dan. I'll see you guys in the next video.